Necromantic Night. Chapter 1 Norman Babcock, the boy who could speak to the dead. In the quaint New England town of Blight Hollow, Massachusetts, resided an extraordinary young boy named Norman Babcock. Blessed with an enigmatic gift, Norman possessed the uncanny ability to communicate with the departed. However, in this small and often skeptical community, his extraordinary power brought him nothing but isolation and ridicule. From his tender age, Norman would often engage in conversations with his late grandmother, Hilda, who materialized as a translucent figure only visible to him. As he grew older, his ability extended to the countless spirits that haunted the town, filling Blight Hollow with an ethereal presence that most residents remained oblivious to. Unfortunately, Norman's extraordinary gift was met with disbelief and mockery. His father, a pragmatic businessman, dismissed his son's claims as childish fantasies. His mother, loving but overwhelmed, struggled to understand his peculiar abilities. Among his peers, Norman became an object of ridicule, ostracized as the weird kid who claimed to talk to ghosts. Chapter 2 Norman and Neil, A Tale of Friendship, Courage, and the Supernatural In the quaint town of Blythe Hollow, a place where the past and the present seem to intertwine, we find two unlikely friends, Norman Babcock, a young boy with the ability to communicate with the dead, and Neil Down, an overweight, eccentric boy who is often the target of bullies. Despite their differences, these two boys form a bond that is as strong as it is unique. Norman, a medium by birthright, has always struggled to fit in with his peers. His earnest admission of his supernatural abilities often leaves him feeling isolated and misunderstood. However, when he meets Neil, a boy who is bullied himself, he finds a kindred spirit. Neil, intrigued by Norman's abilities, sees them as a fascinating part of their newfound friendship. As the town prepares for a school play commemorating the 300-year-old witch execution, Norman experiences a harrowing vision of the town's past. He sees himself being pursued as a witch by the town's citizenry, a chilling reminder of the dark history that still haunts Blythe Hollow. The vision serves as a catalyst for the boy's next adventure. They are confronted by Norman's estranged and seemingly deranged uncle, Mr. Prendergast. He reveals to Norman that the vision is a sign that he must take up his regular ritual to protect the town from the supernatural forces that threaten to unleash chaos. Chapter 3 Asterisk Asterisk Norman's desperation intensifies in Paranorman, a spiral of embarrassment, isolation, and a race against time Asterisk Asterisk. As Norman's relentless visions persist, he finds himself publicly humiliated during a school play when he prophesies a reversal of the curse. His classmates mock him, and his embarrassment-stricken parents unjustly ground him. With no one to turn to, Norman retreats into isolation. In the privacy of the restroom, he encounters the ghost of the recently deceased Prendergast, who urges him to complete a mysterious ritual before sundown to lift a centuries-old curse upon the town. Despite his parents' prohibition, Norman sets off on a solitary journey to Prendergast's residence to retrieve the ritual book. Believing he cannot confide in his friend Neil, who might not comprehend the urgency, Norman drives him away. Norman arrives at the graves of the town's ancestors, including Judge Hopkins, who were believed to have cursed all which they had condemned. However, upon retrieving the book, Norman discovers that it contains only fairy tales. Chapter 4 Asterisk Asterisk Alvin the Bully Intervenes, Unleashing a Ghostly Storm Asterisk Asterisk in the eerie shadows of Pitchhaven, Norman Babcock's tranquil reading time is shattered by the intrusion of Alvin, a burly bully. Having eavesdropped on Norman's encounter with the restroom ghost, Alvin disrupts the reading, his cruel laughter echoing through the gloomy space. As the sun dips below the horizon, a sinister transformation occurs. A ghostly storm materializes in the air, its swirling tendrils resembling the malevolent witch that haunts the town's dark history. From the earth, cursed dead emerge, their rotting flesh and ragged clothes a testament to the horrors that lie dormant beneath the town's facade. Norman and his friend Neil are relentlessly pursued by the undead horde, their screams of terror swallowed up by the chaotic storm. Desperation fills their hearts as they desperately search for a way out. Amidst the pandemonium, Norman's sister, Courtney, Neil's older brother, Mitch, and a group of their friends arrive on the scene. They have come to retrieve Norman and intervene in the unfolding nightmare. Together, the group fends off the zombie hordes, their bravery and determination a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. However, the pursuit proves relentless as the living dead follow them into the heart of Pitchhaven. 
As the chase intensifies, Norman desperately reaches out for assistance. He contacts Salma, a classmate who possesses knowledge of the town's hidden secrets. Salma reveals the location of the witch's unmarked grave within the town hall's archives. Chapter 5 Zombies Urban Odyssey and the Children's Desperate Search In a gripping turn of events, as the horde of zombies relentlessly pursued the children towards the town hall, they unexpectedly lost their quarry due to their bewilderment with modern society. Lost and disoriented amidst the bustling streets, the undead creatures became besieged by a furious citizenry. Amidst the chaos, the emboldened children managed to gain entry into the town hall archives. However, their hopes of finding crucial information were dashed when the archives yielded no relevant knowledge. As the raging mob surged towards the town hall, Norman, overcome with frustration, alienated his companions. Cruelly, the mob ensnared the isolated children. Meanwhile, a tempestuous witch storm began to brew, her ominous presence casting a dark shadow over the town. In a desperate attempt to halt the storm's destructive path, Norman ascended the tower of the town hall to read a fabled book. However, tragedy struck as the witch unleashed a devastating lightning bolt, incinerating the book and causing Norman to plummet into the depths of the archive. Chapter 6 The Unveiling of the Witch's Curse, Norman's Dream and Its Aftermath In the realm of the unconscious, Norman's slumber took a haunting turn, guiding him into a dream that would forever alter his perception of the past. As darkness enveloped him, he was transported back to a time of superstition and fear. The witch, his childhood nightmare, was revealed in a startling new light. To his astonishment, the witch was not the wicked enchantress he had always imagined. Instead, she was a mere child, Agatha Prendergast, possessed of a tender heart and the inexplicable gift of mediumship. Norman witnessed the profound injustice that befell Agatha as she was condemned by the town's elite, their minds clouded by fear and superstition. As Agatha was unjustly led to her execution, her cries of innocence echoed through the dream. In her despair, she unleashed a curse that would haunt the town for generations to come, the elite who condemned her would rise from their graves as the living dead, destined to wander the earth eternally. Awakening in a cold sweat, Norman realized the dire truth, the zombies were not malevolent creatures seeking vengeance. They were merely victims of a terrible mistake, cursed to an undead existence. Their presence was not a threat, but a desperate attempt to communicate their pain and anguish. Norman's heart sank as he understood that he alone held the key to breaking the curse. Determined to rectify the wrongs of the past, Norman sought out Agatha's ghost. He believed that only by speaking to her directly could he find a permanent solution to the curse. Guided by the remnants of her spirit, Norman journeyed to the ruins of the execution site. Chapter 7 Asterisk Asterisk Norman and allies converge amidst unrest Asterisk Asterisk. In the midst of a surging witch storm, the fate of Pine Bluff hangs in the balance as Norman Reedus and his allies face an escalating conflict. Determined to guide the zombies to Agatha Prendergast's grave, Norman attempts to surreptitiously lead them away from the relentless mob. However, their presence is soon discovered, and Norman and the undead are cornered. As pandemonium ensues, Courtney Reedus, who has witnessed her brother's true heroism, intervenes. She confronts the enraged crowd, revealing Norman's extraordinary abilities and the grave danger the town faces. Courtney's impassioned plea resonates with the mob. She persuades them to reconsider their mistrust and allow Norman to fulfill his vital task. As the storm intensifies, Judge Hopkins assumes the role of guide, leading Norman's family towards the hidden grave in the depths of a forest. Fate deals a cruel blow as Agatha's powerful magic manifests. Norman is separated from his companions, leaving him to navigate the treacherous path to the grave alone. His determination and unwavering purpose fuel his resolve to save the town from impending destruction. Chapter 8 Asterisk Asterisk Norman's Encounter with Agatha's Spirit, A Tale of Redemption Asterisk Asterisk In the hallowed halls of an abandoned chapel, Norman, a resolute young adventurer, stumbled upon a forgotten grave. As his fingers brushed against the weathered stone, a chill ran down his spine, igniting a spark within the darkness. The spirit of Agatha, a woman wronged and tormented by life's cruelties, emerged from the depths of the grave, her eyes blazing with an unholy fire. Undeterred, Norman held his ground. He gazed into Agatha's spectral form, seeing not a vengeful abyss, but a glimmer of pain echoing from her distant past. 
with quiet resolve. He uttered words of understanding, I know how it feels to be an outcast, Agatha. To be scorned and rejected by those who should have protected you. Fury contorted Agatha's visage as she unleashed her ethereal wrath upon Norman. Spectral claws raked at his mind, plunging him into darkness. Yet, amidst the torment, Norman's resolve remained unshaken. He bore the brunt of her assault, enduring the agony with unwavering determination. Slowly but surely, through the deafening cacophony of her anger, Norman's voice cut through the darkness like a beacon of light. Even in the darkest corners of your heart, there must have been moments of kindness, he pleaded. Focus only on the tragedies, and you become a shadow of your former self. Chapter 9 The Taurus Redemption Agis Farewell and the Unveiling of a Hero in the Aftermath of a Too Much Was Night The Quaint Town Grappled with the Aftermath of a Haunting Presence that had tormented their community A young girl, known as Agi, had been lost and adrift Her spirit consumed by grief and despair However, amidst the force, a glimmer of hope emerged in the form of Norman, a empathetic and understanding individual. As Norman approached to Agi, his words flowed with a soothing eloquence that gradually covered her tormented mind. Together, they delved into the recesses of her memory, where she remembered the vibrant personality and cherished moments shared with her loving mother. Through Norman's unwavering support, Agi found a measure of peace. She realized that she was not alone, and that there was one person in the town who truly understood her. With this new found solace, Agis is a real form of linguist its grip on the town. She had finally released the bond that had held her captive, and was ready to move on to the afterlife. As her spirit faded away, so too did the raging storm that had consumed the night. The zombies that had haunted the streets disappeared into the ether. Their menacing presence replaced by a profound tranquility. As dawn broke, the town awoke to a transformed reality. The darkness and torment had dissipated, leaving behind a sense of new and hope and unity. Though the outside media attempted to label the events as nothing more than a severe storm, the chance for to knew better. They had a twist a profound transformation, orchestrated by the compassion and empathy of an extraordinary individual. Chapter 10 Embracing Companionship Norman's Journey to Healing In the realm of human emotions, the power of companionship is often underestimated. It is a force that can heal, transform, and bring light to the darkest corners of our souls. Norman, a character who has been haunted by his past, learns this lesson the hard way. Realizing that he has been pushing others away due to his painful memories of being ostracized, he finally accepts Neil's companionship, leading to a profound transformation in his life. Norman's life has been marked by the pain of being ostracized. As a child, he was often left out by his peers, leading to a deep sense of loneliness and isolation. This experience has left a lasting impact on his psyche, causing him to push others away in an attempt to protect himself from further hurt. It is through Neil's unwavering friendship that Norman begins to see the value of companionship. Neil, a character who is not afraid to show his vulnerability, demonstrates the power of empathy and understanding. As Norman watches Neil navigate his own struggles, he begins to realize that he is not alone in his pain. The decision to accept Neil's companionship is not an easy one for Norman. It requires him to confront his fears and insecurities head-on. However, as he takes this step, he discovers that the warmth and support of a true friend can be a powerful antidote to the pain of the past. As Norman and Neil's friendship deepens, they begin to share experiences that help Norman heal from his past. One such experience is watching a horror film with the ghost of Norman's grandmother. In the past, this activity would have been a painful reminder of his isolation, but with Neil by his side, it becomes a shared experience that brings them closer together. The climax of this healing journey comes when Norman's family eagerly joins him in watching the horror film. This moment signifies the transformation that has taken place within Norman. No longer is he the isolated, ostracized child of his past. Instead, he has become a man who is capable of embracing the love and support of those around him. Norman's journey to healing is a powerful reminder of the transformative power of companionship. By accepting Neil's friendship and allowing himself to be vulnerable, Norman has been able to confront his past and move forward. The shared experiences that he and Neil have had, 
culminating in the family watching the horror film together, serve as a testament to the healing power of human connection. In the end, it is through the love and support of others that we can truly overcome the pain of our past and embrace a brighter future. The end.